Last week we learned about op art, which is art based on the idea of optical illusions and things look kind of like they're sticking out of the paper even though they're flat and two-dimensional. Uh, this week we're going to do another op art project and we're going to learn a little bit about a different op art artist and her name is Bridget Riley and she's from London. She was born in 1931 and she's still working. She started using black and white to make her images. Eventually she added some color and she loved using lines. We're going to be using lines and our hands to make our project today. Let's look at some images by Bridget Riley and then we'll get started on our project. So for our op art project inspired by Bridget Riley, we are going to be using our hand. You can see how I used my hands and I made it look like it's popping off of the paper. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use that. For the example I did here, I used just a black marker. You guys can use just one color today, or you can do, like I'm gonna show you with several colors, which will help make the process look a little bit easier for you, I think. So you're gonna really just need a piece of paper, and like I said, either one marker or several markers. I'm gonna start, actually, I'm gonna use colors for everything so you can really see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take my hand, and I'm going to put it right in the middle of the paper. I want to have a little bit of my arm showing also because that just makes it look a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to put my hand with one hand and with the other hand I'm going to trace and I'm going to go right around all my fingers. I'm going to hold them still. I'm going to make sure there's some spaces in between my fingers and you can have someone help you if you need to while you're tracing your hand or do the best you can, it doesn't have to be perfect. So there's my hand and I'm gonna take my purple marker and that's all I'm gonna do with my purple marker because, here I'll hold this this way because I think you can see the whole picture that way a little bit better. Um, because I wanna make this color coordinator for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I'm going to make some straight lines that go behind my hand. I'm not gonna make any lines on my hand to start with. Your straight lines can be uh, vertical, they can be horizontal, they can be diagonal, they can be however you want. I'm gonna make them diagonal this time. On the paper I did with the black, I just made them horizontal. You can see they just went straight across. So I'm gonna start at the bottom here and I'm gonna make a line. Now I'm gonna jump over my hand and I'm gonna meet up directly across from where that line ended and just continue straight. And then I'm going to do another one. I'm going to jump over and continue straight. You could use a ruler, but you do not need to. This does not need to be perfect. You want to just line them up. And right now, these are pretty wide because I think that helps keep it organized a little bit easier for you guys. So I'm going to go straight across. Now, if I start to cross over, in between my fingers, I wanna make sure I make that line. So see, I'm starting to make some lines in between my fingers. But again, I am not going over my hand. And I'm gonna continue this to the end. And that's it with my green marker for now. Um, actually, no, it's not. I'm going to start to now use my green marker and I'm going to make the lines on my hands. Now, when I make the lines on my hands, I'm not going to go straight. I'm going to make it so it has a curve to it, like a rainbow. So I'm going to go, see how that bumps out like a rainbow line, like a curve, curve there. And I'm connecting one line to the other when I have the fingers, I'm gonna have multiple curves because I'm gonna go from each point of my green and connect them. All right, if this is confusing to you at any point, just stop the video and look closely at what I'm doing. Now I'm going to use another color just to help make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. And I'm gonna just add lines in between my green lines. I have to walk away for a moment and let my dog in. So they are barking over here. Come on. 
All right, sorry about that, guys. So now I'm going to add red lines in between the green. And again, I'm not gonna cross over my hand with my straight lines. I'm just going straight in between the green lines. Like I said, you can use one color for this like I did with my first one, but um, you can also use multiple colors and you can keep adding more colors if you want to. And I'm gonna finish up these last few red lines. And again, I'm not, with my straight lines, I'm not going through my fingers or my hands at all. All right, now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add those curved lines. And I'm going in between the green with those curved lines. This one's a little bit bigger. If your lines touch a little bit, that's okay. Once you start adding a lot of lines, they might end up touching a little bit and that's okay. So that takes us pretty much to the end of that. Now I still have lots of spaces, so I could go and keep adding. I can add a third color, or I could add more of this color, or I could add some black, but you can see how you guys can use colored lines to do this, or you can use one color line. It could be black or it could be a different color, but have lots of fun, and don't be afraid to make some beautiful oops, and I will see you guys next week. Send me pictures if you can. I'd love to see them, um, and let me know when you're done, at least on the my Google Classroom page. Have fun, guys. Bye.